So in the past, y'all have really loved my swatch party videos. I've done two other ones, and so now this is going to be my third one using these beautiful new babies from Buxom Cosmetics. These are the Plump Shot Collagen Infused Lip Serums, and I have 12 of them that I'm gonna swatch for y'all today. So like I said, I have done a swatch party before with NYX Butter Glosses, and the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, and y'all seem to really enjoy them, so that's why I figured I got this beautiful PR box from Buxom Cosmetics, thank you so much Buxom, and I figured I would show you what all 12 look like on me today, because this is a brand new product for Buxom, and if you are not familiar with their products, they really kind of get into the whole plumping line of lip products. They do plumping lip liners, they do lip polishes, lip glosses, and so these are their new infused lip serums. So. Let me hit some high points really quick if you're not familiar with what this is. So it has advanced plumping technology. They are pure vegan collagen and tripeptides that help to promote fuller looking lips over time. And then the hyaluronic acid filling spheres help smooth and fill the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And it contains ingredients like avocado and jojoba oils to condition, hydrate, and smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So right off the bat, I have one of the 12 colors on today. This is actually one of my favorites that you can see. And I will say that if you are not, if you are familiar with the Buxom Cosmetics lip glosses and lip polishes, some of them are very opaque, some of them are sheer, but they have a lot of color and they're very glossy. This is not that. These are going to be very sheer. Every single color is sheer, but depending on the color that I choose, some will be sheer than others and some will surprise you with how much color they have. But I am going to do a swatch party like I always do. I will never put on a lip liner with these lip products because I feel like that manipulates the actual color of the product. And so I want you to see exactly what they look like on with no other products on my lips. And then secondly, I wipe them off in between each color. So you might notice a little bit of redness on my lips or a little bit of discoloration, but that's because I'm putting a color on and then taking it off. So hopefully it won't manipulate the color too much. I let it sit in between the B-roll of these colors so that you can really see how the colors play out. But I will go ahead and tell you, I've put on 12 colors of these and now this is the last one that I reapplied and my lips feel amazing. Like I can't, I can't believe, usually when I do these swatch parties, my lips kind of dry out in between colors because I'm taking them off with a Kleenex and you know, using like a micellar water. Not so with these lip products. Like my lips feel amazing in condition, so I'm excited to show you all of these colors. So let's get into each and every color. So I tried to do from the lightest to the darkest just from looking at how they sent these in the box, um, just so you can really kind of see a progression. So if you prefer a darker color, go on to the end of the video. If you wanna see from lightest to darkest, we'll start from the top. So the first one I have is Soft Blush, and this was a sheer pinky beige shade. So this is a brand new product for Buxom, and I've seen that this one's already sold out. I'm sure that they'll restock it since it's new. But this one was surprisingly super sheer. So if you like a very sheer, just light pink lip look, this will probably be for you. It wasn't quite enough color for me, but it was pretty and it felt nice on. All right, second color is called Exposed, and this one is called a sheer nude beige. So if I wanted a lip color that was just like sheer nude beige, this is what I would want. It looked like my lips, but just a hint better. Still not a ton of color, but very, very pretty and look like naturally healthy lips on. All right, third color is called Lingerie. So this one was described as a sheer rose pink, and I was actually really shocked with how pink it was. Considering the first two were so sheer, this one was actually a lot pinker than I expected it to be. It was very much a white-based pink, and so not really my jam, but if you love a cool white-based pink, you will probably love lingerie. Then we are moving on to Get Naked. Um, this is a sheer latte nude. Now when I opened it, I don't know if my husband got the B-roll of this, but I was kind of shocked with how it smelled. When I opened it up, this is the only one that actually kind of smelled coffee-ish, latte-ish. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it is a latte nude, so it definitely went a little bit more brown, but I liked it. It was pretty. Um, it was definitely the most natural color so far, but still just like a very healthy sheer nude lip color. All right, then we're moving on to Plush Peach. I will say right off the bat, I really, really liked this color. I love most peach-based nude colors anyway. I feel like it brings a lot of health and a healthy looking like shade to my com my personal complexion. So this was a peach nude and I just loved it. It feels like the perfect kind of sheer peach nude that I could wear with any outfit to any occasion and it just made my lips look super, super just pretty. 
All right, now we're moving on to Dolly Babe. Now Dolly is one of Buxom's most popular shades. It's just a mauve shade that they do in everything, in lip liners, lipsticks, they do it in their lip glosses. Dolly is probably one of their number one colors. And rightfully so, this is a sheer mauve Dolly color and I love it. It's pretty, it definitely has more of a mauve-y, kind of pinky plummy vibe, but still not nothing too over the top and anybody could pull off this color. So I love this. Dolly Babe is definitely a babe. All right, Coral Kiss or Coral Kiss. It's spelled with a K. I don't know if it's supposed to be Coral or Coral, but either way, you, look, you can tell it's very bright in the tube and when it's on, it's surprisingly wearable. Um, I think this is going to be definitely a color that I wear this summertime. It feels like the perfect little summer bikini sundress type shade and it was like the perfect amount of coral. Not too super bright like it appears in the tube, um, but really pretty and healthy on. All right, next we have Cherry Pop. Now this looked scary cherry, like bright, bright cherry, and it actually was not even as bright as the Coral Kiss, even though it appeared to be in the tube. Um, this was very like sheer cherry, like they kind of nailed it with the color. It's um, very, very pretty, gives your lips a very healthy look with just like a slight reddish with a hint of pink tint, but I liked it, it was very pretty. Now we're moving on to Hypnotic Garnet. So I love anything garnet, it's my birthstone. I love it, and so this is a sheer brick red, and I love it. It's what I'm wearing right now during this entire video. Um, this was probably, spoiler alert, my favorite color. So I love a sheer brick red, and I feel like it has even like kind of a mauve undertone. It's not like super, super warm red. It's more of like a cooler red, um, but I just think it's pretty. This is definitely my, favorite color so far in the box. All right, now we're moving on to Fuchsia U, and it is a sheer raspberry. I really love this too. I love anything raspberry colored, um, so if you love like a raspberry pink that goes a bit more purple, you will definitely love this color. And I think that this is really pretty for winter too. I feel like this kind of would look beautiful with like a, a plummy or a brown, you know, like cozy fuzzy sweater. Um, I really like this color too. All right, moving on to Plum Power. So this is a sheer plum. This is kind of similar to the Fuchsia U, I kind of feel like, kind of looks raspberry-ish, but a little bit deeper, a little bit more punch of color. Um, definitely love this color too. I always love things that are have a plum vibe, so I thought plum vibe. So I definitely think that this was a pretty one as well. And like I said, as I continue to swatch on these colors, this was the 11th color that I tried on. My lips never dried out. They felt amazing and so slick and just so comfortable and cushiony. Like I'm loving the way this lip product feels. All right, now we're on to our last shade. And this is called Wine Obsession. And it was described as a sheer red brown. And when I put it on, my husband was shaking his head behind the camera. He was like, no, no, but I didn't hate it. I actually kind of liked how brown it was. Um, I don't think that this would be a color I would wear in the spring or summer. So this would definitely be something I would wear now in the winter time since we're at the beginning of February. Um, but I kind of liked the chocolate vibe. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking, but I, I kind of liked it, but it definitely was the darkest of the group that they sent me. So if you, it was just, I think it was just shocking because the rest of them are so sheer. And then this one had a lot more color. So if you love a brown vibe for your lip gloss, this is probably gonna be your jam. So there we have it, all 12 shades that Buxom sent me of their new sheer tints. And I looked online and noticed that they actually come in 15 shades, I got 12. They have a clear one, which I had had before, which just kind of conditions your lips and it's totally clear if that's what you're looking for. Nothing super shiny. As you can see, this is not like their glosses that are like, bam, look at all that gloss. It makes your lips look healthy without looking like super makeup-y in my opinion. So if you like a lip color look, but you don't like the look of like a dry lipstick or a matte lipstick, or you don't like the look of something like super glossy and you just want a hint of color, I would say that these new lip tints are, or lip serums, and I was missing Guilt, which is a gold sparkle, which is probably really pretty, and they did not send me Flush, which is supposed to be a peach opal, which also sounds great, because I really like the peach ones in here. So there are two other colors that I didn't get to show you on today's video. So maybe go check those out if that sounds like two colors that would interest you. Um, but they retail for $28 a, um, a lip serum, which, I mean, yeah, it's higher than a drugstore lip gloss, but if this is kind of the vibe you're wanting, 
with just a really healthy, it's almost like a lip treatment, I would say, because I can't believe how long I've had these on, how many I've taken on and off, and how drying my lips should feel right now after this swatch party, and they don't feel dry at all. They feel amazing and comfortable. Now, I can't really speak to the long wear because I wanted to do this video like right off the bat after I got the box. So I don't know how long wearing they'll be, but to me, that doesn't really matter. I love to just swipe on a lip color. It, you know, it takes no time. A lot of people are say, say like, I don't really want to take forever to like to have to reapply my gloss. And I'm like, how long does it really take to reapply your lip product? It takes like five seconds and then you've updated your lip color. So I don't know about longevity. Maybe once you watch this video, I will have worn them a couple more times and I'll be able to tell how long, how long they last. And you can hit me up in the comments to ask me those questions and I'll be happy to answer you um, how I feel about the longevity of how they wear. But I think they're beautiful. Again, thank you to Buxom Cosmetics for sending me this PR gift. I really loved it. I hope that this helped you pick your favorite color. If you've seen it kind of on the internet or on TikTok or on Instagram or Facebook and you've been curious like, oh, what do those colors look like? That's why I do these swatch party videos because I want you to see what they look like on an actual person and not just like on my arm. And I will leave links below to all of these colors if you are interested in checking out this product and feel free to leave me a comment below what your favorite color what your favorite color was that you saw me today and maybe what color you're going to try out for yourself i would love to hear and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't on your way out i would love to have you here following me on youtube all right y'all that's it for today's watch party video i'll see you on the next one bye